What up YouTube? This is Fire Always bringing you a basic tutorial on setting up a FortiGate out the box. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so first I want to bring up uh, or mention this uh, quick start guide. Uh, this comes in the box um, when you first purchase it and um, it's nice. It, it'll show you everything on how to set it up uh, to you know what comes in it, uh, the defaults, CLI, uh, anything like that. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, it's not too difficult. Uh, it comes with nice images, like I said. Um, so it's, it's helpful. If you uh, say you buy one off eBay and uh, they didn't send the uh, this card or information in the box, you just got the unit itself and the, and the components in it, you know, the contents, all that. Um, you can go ahead and go on the Fortinet website and you know find the documentation uh, for Quick Start Guides on how to set it up, what the defaults are, resetting, and all that. Uh, so just go over an overview real quick. Uh, pretty much, you're going to take, uh, you know, an Ethernet cable, and you're going to plug one end into uh, WAN one, and the other end into your modem or your router, um, and then you're going to connect another network cable into the internal uh, port one right here, and the other end into your PC. Obviously, you're going to you're going to boot it up, uh, let it come online, and then you should be able to hit. Um, open up a web browser and be able to hit you know this 1.99 IP right there um, so that's essentially um, what we would do so after you hook that up and you open up a browser um, you know you'll type in HTTPS and put this address in it'll probably ask you for a certificate or something like that I'll go ahead and accept all that and uh, so yeah so once you're in uh, you got a page like this um, like I said, you'll hit that 1.99. I'll, I'll tell you, I've already set up mine um, through figuring out just, you know, this is in my lab environment. Um, so the default or username is always going to be admin uh, when, when they're new, uh, when you get them fresh out the box. And the password is nothing uh, when they're default and they're fresh out the box. Um, they don't put a password on. Like I said, this is my lab, so I already went ahead and um, changed my password and all that. So we'll go ahead and log in here kind of show you around a little bit and this you know this is going to be very basic uh, there's not going to be too much uh, not too difficult to set this up in your lab or uh, if you want to play around with it at all so we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the dashboard here and uh, so you know this is your host name uh, you're welcome to change it that's usually what I do right away uh, obviously my firewall is um, so you're welcome to change that uh, however you want um, they're usually set or not usually they're always usually sent out operational mode um, is always set to NAT uh, when they set it out to you uh, currently you know when I when I receive mine this is 4.4.5 version um, I don't know what they'll be you know now or what they were back then um, so next uh, you can always set a current administrative password um, I usually do that right away uh, you know you log in obviously since there is no password that's no good so you go in here just change your password um, it'll reboot. You'll have to log in with the new password that you put. So next, um, you know, after you set up your password, you're logged in. Um, you got the stuff plugged in. You're, you know, you're 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 in the interface. You reset your password. Uh, you want to go ahead and set up um, your network. Um, you know, so you can actually start using it. So go ahead and you'll click network right here and go to interfaces. And usually. Um, you know, your WAN will be all zeros here. Like I said, this is my lab, so I've already kind of have a setup. Um, but we'll go ahead and take a look at it. So, you know, if you want to be able to hit, um, you know, this firewall from anywhere in your house and you don't want to be directly connected to it, you'll set this up. So you go ahead and click on here and click edit. And once it brings up, you want to make sure your role is selected for WAN. And uh, usually, you know, I leave it, other people leave it. Um, you kind of have two options here. You can, you know, just have DHCP, leave it there, and it'll automatically obtain the IP, um, you know, your default gateway and all that. Um, but if you want, you know, you can change it to manual and plug in uh, your outside IP that your ISP has supplied you with. Um, this will also automatically um, pull DNS. And I usually tend to turn uh, override internal DNS off. I go ahead and click Save. I'm going to click cancel because I've already got mine set up. So next, um, we're gonna for now we're going to leave this um, just as the default. Um, you can always change uh, 
come in and change just the IP of what you want to be able to hit it on your LAN. Um, but we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll and show you what it looks like. It looks very similar to the WAN 1 interface, uh, only obviously it's your LAN, it's your internal. Um, one quick tip, if you do, if you do end up changing your manual or changing your address mode of manual, um, you're going to plug in uh, obviously your, your IP, your private IP, or set a private IP. And you're going to want to come down here in under address range. Uh, you'll want to change, um, you'll want to delete the default one in there and create a new one. And that way um, it, uh, it, uh, it'll create it'll assign IPs to the devices in your network automatically um, through there. Uh, so you want to make sure uh, that's, uh, that you do that if you do set a manual IP um, under there. So I'll click OK here. So next you want to go under DNS. Um, you can specify one if you want. Uh, these are the FortiGuard servers, uh, so they're going to be clean, they're going to be good. Um, I tend to use Google sometimes. But, you know, FortiGuard servers, obviously, it's, uh, the service is uh, FortiGuard, so they're going to be clean. They're going to be good. There shouldn't be any worries there with that. Um, next, you're going to want to do your default routing. Uh, so you go under routing, and you'll go ahead and click create new. Obviously, mine's already set. So once you create a new one, it'll look like this. Uh, you'll want to leave it on subnet, uh, put eight zeros in there, uh, set your device to WAN1, and your gateway. Um, it's so obviously going to be the gateway uh, your that's I, the gateway IP that's uh, provided by your ISP. Um, like I said, if you don't know your ISP um, or you don't know your IP that the ISP has given you, uh, you can go ahead and contact them, and uh, they should be able to assist you on figuring that out. Or you can uh, hit up your router, and uh, that'll probably give you your default gateway pretty easily. So next, uh, this will be very basic um, policy and objects. Uh, so this is where you're going to control, you know, all your, you know, all your, all your access from internally, externally, and externally to internally. Um, so uh, usually, uh, by default, um, the Forty gates are being sent out uh, with a all all allow from LAN to WAN policy. Um, I'm a security vendor, um, so I will delete the all all allow LAN to WAN policy. That's no good. Um, but if you want, uh, you can go ahead and leave it. That way you can allow your devices to get through uh, for now uh, to be able to, you know, reach the Internet. If, you don't, if you're nervous, you don't want to break anything, uh, feel free to set that up. Um, and, you know, so you'll, to do that, it's pretty basic. Uh, you just hit Create New. And we'll go ahead and name this, or you can name it uh, however you want. We tend to uh, keep it all caps with underscores. Uh, just for, for cleanliness, but so allow all, and you'll click your LAN, WAN, and just put all, all, all accept, and then obviously you want to log the security events down there and uh, use outgoing interface address. So doing this, this should give you no problems to be able to um, allow traffic from your internal network to the external tra uh, network. Um, so. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have another video um, explaining more in detail why I have these um, in separate filters, um, what to set, you know, as your security profiles, and just break down, you know, from a lab view and a enterprise view of, you know, what you should have implemented uh, within your security policies, and uh, that'll be, you know, I'll have a video uh, dedicated to that. It won't be very long, probably, but um, you know, just essentially, you know, how we set up. The basic rules and things that you should look at, um, you know, if you're doing a firewall audit or anything like that. Um, so that's for another video, uh, but for now that should be that should set you up well, you know, to allow traffic through. Uh, you can put a rule in here, uh, just hit create new, uh, and put a WAN to LAN. So anything outgoing, incoming, you can deny all. Um, you know, if you're if you're nervous or anything like that. But if this is a lab environment, you should be fine. So I would make I would definitely make sure this is your lab. I'd recommend, and then as you follow me, um, and we start setting it up, um, you know, with the rules that we need, and you know, integrating the good security po security policies that we do, uh, you'll be able to you know, put this on your actual network, and and know okay I'll be secure, safe, and you have nothing to worry about. Uh, so last thing I want to show you um, is you know just viewing some logs real quick. You go to Fortiview. 
and you'll go under all sessions. Um, once you have devices connected going through your firewall, you're going to be able to see a load of uh, traffic going through from your devices, sources, destinations, you know, even your policies uh, that you have that device set under and what it's hitting. Um, I don't have anything on here. Obviously, it's the lab, um, but like I said, as we further as we further our videos and um, just continue the series, uh, we're going to set it up from obviously this basic one now, and it's just going to get more advanced. And um, you you know we'll definitely be getting traffic on here and be able to uh, digress and even you know I, I plan on doing some video series of you know doing packet analysis and just showing you how we can um, pull that in. Uh, through the firewall for troubleshooting and all that. Uh, so for now, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, watch this video, and I hope this was helpful uh, to anybody um, that's uh, new or that's wanting to get you know learn the basics of uh, the FortiGate and just wanting to set it up, get their hands on. I know FortiGates are um, pretty popular um, as a security unit, you know, a firewall device. And I just appreciate you watching this video. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll uh, see you soon.